Acting, what a tacky business. Acting, what a tacky business. Yeah. It's rather aerodynamic, isn't it? You can feel it. This desk set wants to fly. Wait a minute. You gave Another us half practice? a roll. I'll move the other yeah. half. Rip it out. Rip. Be gone, J. Evans Pritchard, PhD. It's starting to sound dangerous. Why don't you stay home? How's your summer, Slick? Kane. <laughs> Makes door closed. Yes, sir. Got to do more. Got to be more. <laughs> I really want this film! Oh, my God, I want it so bad! For the first time, I'm going to do it! Whether my father wants me to or not, Carpe Diem! I'm in. Let's go, boys. Hustle up in here. That means you, Dalton. Do indeed be a god! Man most likely to do anything. <laughs> Die, man. Mr. K was a hellraiser. <laughs> Boy, what, what fun boys they are. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. Exercising the right not to walk. I'm a dead poet. Neil, you're crazy. <laughs> Saxophone is more sonorous. Hey, I heard you got the new kid. Looks like a stiff. <laughs> Oops. Josh Charles. Charles. Enter Woo! Josh Charles. Now, in this class, you can either call me Mr. Keating, or if you're slightly more daring, oh, Captain, my captain. Teach me to love. <laughs> Go teach thyself more wit. Well, <sighs> I wouldn't worry. You'll get another one next year. <laughs> uh, what about you, Knox? I don't know, Charlie. Come on, Knox. It'll help you get Chris. Yeah? No. Women swoon. <laughs> why do they swoon? Charlie, tell me why they swoon. We didn't just read poetry. We let it drip from our tongues like honey. You mean it was a bunch of guys sitting around reading poetry? No, Mr. Overstreet, it wasn't just guys. From the moment we enter crying to, to the moment we leave dying, it'll just cover your face as you wail and cry and scream. Radio Free America. Look, all I'm saying is that we have to be careful. We can't get caught. No shit, Sherlock. I can take care of myself just fine, all right? No. I mean, no. No. Give me, Neil, Neil, give that back. You're dreaming of a poetry. I mean, face my well written. I felt like I, I felt like I reached out and I kissed God on the lips. Why do I stand up here? Anybody? To feel taller. Pretty. Your parents collect pipes? Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. That's so sweet made that up just for you. You did? Welton Academy, hello. Yes, he is. Just a moment. Mr. Nolan, it's for you. It's God. He says we should have girls at Welton. 